What's up guys, my name is Sangye and this is part two of my jaw surgery experience. If you have not watched the part one, please go and check that out before you watch this video because trust me, this video will make a lot more sense if you do. But if you are back for part two, thank you for coming back and please keep on watching. So I'm back at the clinic for my first appointment since the surgery. I am here to take some pictures and to talk to the doctor. This is my eighth day since the surgery. This is still very swollen, but it kind of went down a bit. You guys, I finally got my rubber bands off. I can talk now. It feels so weird now that I can open my mouth from being rubber band shut for a whole week. This is very weird. I have to retrain my muscles because this is as far as I can smile right now. And it's just that, again, my muscles have been disconnected to my jaw bones. So now I have to retrain them to work together. The doctor told me that I need to do a lot of muscle training and mouth exercises. So things like... <sighs> for 10 seconds, I know it looks so easy, but it's actually super hard to do. Now that it's been a week, I can use heat packs and ice packs. So he told me that I should use whatever makes me feel better. In the morning, I feel a lot more swollen, so I like to get an ice pack. And then towards the night, I'm gonna try using a heat pack. I've never used a heat pack before. It should feel good. I don't know. I'm not sure how it will feel because I've been using ice packs this entire time. But yeah, I'm so happy that I can actually talk now and open my mouth. Today, I'm gonna be eating out for the very first time since the surgery. I can only eat really soft foods, so I will try to see what I can eat, but I'm excited to be out. Currently, the only thing I can eat are this waste. This is grass jelly, hot grass jelly. It's really liquidy, so it's easy to swallow and kind of eat with my teeth. I can't really chew, but I have to train my mouth to chew again, so baby steps. Because I have all the stitches and scars inside from the surgery, I have to wash my mouth every single time I eat anything that isn't water. So I have a bottle of water here. I'm at a local 7-Eleven because I'm not going to go home anytime soon. And I have this that I carry around. So I got to switch my mouth with this and add water to make sure I get everything out because I can't brush my teeth right now. So keeping my mouth clean is super, super important. Good morning guys, today is the 13th day after my surgery and I am looking a little puffier today because I tend to get puffier in the morning. I woke up late today. I've been waking up pretty late but I've been sleeping 12 hours. Sleep is one of the most important things for the recovery process. I actually take melatonin in order to sleep a full 12 hours because I'll wake up in like 6 or 7 hours. I either wake up from the pain or I just naturally wake up. And pain is because I'm supposed to be taking pain medication every four to five, six hours. Six is kind of stretching it. I'll wake up around five or six, take the pain meds again, and then pop another little bit of melatonin. I take really low doses, but it doesn't really help me. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> it's hard to talk. It really does help me get through the full 12 hours, which I think my body really needs. But right now, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm so excited because I get to drink coffee now. I feel like my body has been on a major cleanse. No alcohol, no caffeine, no junk food, no sugar even. I've been drinking protein powders every day, spirulina vitamins, minerals so much stuff hopefully this makes me really strong and healthy and i can get back to work as soon as i get back to la right now i'm just hoping that this swelling would go down man i don't even recognize myself this is so weird i want to show you how i use this face pack i'm gonna call it so you basically can put either heat packs inside or ice packs this is actually hot right now, but you can freeze this obviously. We can also heat this up to a certain temperature. You can use your hair up or down. Today it's hot. I know I'm gonna be sweating a lot with this. There's a Velcro. I just put it like this. And we'll wrap it around your face like this. And right now it's warm. It's actually very, very warm. So it feels really good. During the first week, the reason why you're supposed to use an ice pack is because just like any bruising, 
you want to use an ice pack first. For now, I'm using a heat pack because the heat helps with the circulation, which helps the healing process go faster. So that is why I have a face pack wrapped around my face almost 24 seven. Good morning, guys. So today I'm actually going to wear some makeup because I have been very bored. You know what's so weird though? I can't feel this side at all, but I can feel this side. I can't feel this side, but I can feel this side. The numbness is like weirdly placed around my face, but it is very weird touching your own skin and not being able to feel it. It feels like it's not mine. So it's very. Let me see if I can shake my nose. My nose is so swollen too. I didn't realize jaw surgery would affect my nose as much, but. I should have figured. I mean, your jaw is a huge part of your face. Oh, but I forgot to say, you guys, today is the two week mark. It's been exactly two weeks, 14 days since the surgery. For any of you guys who are interested in doing this surgery or are told by your doctor that you need to get the surgery, but you're scared of doing it, I want to make this video for you guys to know that if I can go through it, you can go through it too, because I don't know if you know, but I'm like the biggest chicken. I'm so scared of needles. And to be honest, I thought the pain would be a lot worse, but it wasn't. It's just a hassle to always use ice packs, heat packs. You have to take your medicine in time. You can only drink liquids. But honestly, pain level, not that bad. So just wanted to throw this out there to let you guys know. Hey guys, I am showered, clean, feeling great. My gums are not feeling that great because they feel a little swollen still. Like it's super swollen today. But that's because I didn't sleep too well last night. If you don't sleep well, you'll get more puffy. So gotta remember that next time. But anyways, tomorrow I am going to get my screws off. I have eight of them in my mouth right now, two up here, two here. So um, I'm really excited to get them off, but I'm also really scared because I don't know how painful it will be. But that means I'll just be closer to recovery, which is great. So the screws in the front, these two right here, were the ones that held my fur bands. And so now that I don't need them, the doctor's gonna take them out. I'm gonna try showing them to you, but guys, I'm like really embarrassed to show you my teeth because they're so yellow, so please don't judge me. The doctor already told me that my teeth will become yellow after the surgery because the chemical mouthwash that I had to use for the first week seriously stains your teeth and there's just no way you can avoid that. So. Please don't look too carefully at my teeth. Let me just try to show you one of the screws so you can see what they look like. That right there. Yeah, so I have eight of them. They're actually in my gums below my teeth. So I don't know how far in they are, but I'm really hoping the doctor gives me a lot of numbing cream or the numbing shot, whatever he gives me. I hope it makes it a little better. <laughs> Gotta take my pills, painkiller, and stomach medicine. Um, <laughs> so this is what the soup looks like. This is basically the soup that my mom used to make for me while I had my urbans in and I would only drink the broth. Now that I can open my mouth, I can drink a thicker soup like this. I still can't chew meat or anything solid, so this is my dinner. I still don't feel my lips that much or my entire area here, so I always get my drinks all over my face. This is day 17 and I'm back at the clinic for my regular checkup and to get my mini screws off. This is what my face looks like right now. I'm definitely more swollen on the right side because that's the side I had more issues with. Facial movements have improved but the smile definitely looks wonky and needs work. So I just got my photos taken. Every time I visit they take pictures of my front side and then up and down and all the photos so the doctor can see and compare with my old photos. But I am getting my screws off so I'm excited for that because I have been noticing every time I smile the cheeks tug at the nails screws so it will be nice to have them out of my mouth. I want to introduce you to the doctor. Hi. 
<laughs> this is a doctor. He's done a really good job with my face, so I just want to introduce him. And of course, I will link all the information in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. <laughs> So I just got my screws off. The doctor calls them mini screws, and I actually only had four of them, but they were actually literally screws. He had a screwdriver looking thing, and he like took it off like this. The holes would naturally heal by themselves, and I'm not supposed to try to touch them or anything, but that was the last time I had to do anything to my face. Now I just have to wait for my swelling to go down. I'm really happy that I'm recovering really fast. So that's where the doctor's office is. The waiting room area is here. There's this long hallway and this is a bathroom here and everything is so nice and clean here. There's this cute little thing here and this yeah. is where the surgery room is. <laughs> the VIP room is where I was recovering and that's where the surgery rooms are and that's their logo. Hey guys, happy Lunar New Year. Today is Chinese New Year here and I am about to go out with my family. I did my face today and my hair, the first time curling my hair since the surgery. It feels really nice. I'm finally kind of feeling like my old self again. It's still swollen, but I do feel a lot better. Today is what, the 17th day after the surgery? You can tell that the swelling has gone down a lot. My mini screws are out. They were painful this when they came out. I'm really happy that I can smile now without my cheeks tugging on the little screws because that was kind of concerning for me. Every time I smiled, I had to go like, like I had like low air so that I can stretch my mouth without tugging my lip on the screw, if that makes any sense. But um, I'm feeling a lot better today and just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update. Hey guys, so I'm back at the clinic now and I'm here for another appointment. Today is the one month mark from the surgery. So this is what I look like after exactly one month from the surgery. The swelling has gone down a lot more since the last time I caught up on the vlog. Bruising is still here. I have some light makeup up here, but I don't have anything down here. As you can see, there is like still dark bruising around here, but that's completely normal and that will fade over time. They were telling me that I should try to smile so I can at least show eight teeth and I can see eight teeth now, so I think it's good. And my goal is to open my mouth three fingers wide, but right now I can only do two. Okay. Almost three? Not really, but getting better. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back at the clinic and I actually am back for my last appointment because I did have a concern with my alignment. If you look closely, I noticed that the bottom, like the middle bottom tooth is not aligned with the top middle tooth and it's so subtle you guys, but I'm afraid that it will go worse after I leave for the US. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's not aligned. See that? It's kind of in the middle here. The center is off. It wasn't like that after the surgery. I don't know. I'm gonna talk to the doctor and see what he says. But other than that, it's going well. The swelling has gone down a little more. I don't know. I can't tell. I feel like it's the same. It's been almost two months now since the surgery. So the rest is just a stubborn swelling that needs to go down. But that can take like months up to a year. So just gotta be patient. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what the doctor says. I got beef noodle soup with tendons instead of beef because I can chew that and not the beef. And I can try to chew the veggies, I'm not sure if I can, but I definitely can eat the noodles and the soup. <laughs> and I am almost seven weeks post-op. I can't believe it's been almost two months since the surgery, but the de-swelling has definitely slowed down significantly. It looks pretty much the same now. The rest of the swelling can take up to a year to go down, so I mean, I wish it would go faster, but at this point, there's nothing I can do other than be patient, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
And um, yesterday I went to my last appointment with the doctor and as I mentioned before, I told you guys about the concern I had about the alignment. It's so slight you guys, but I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't get worse over time. And the doctor confirmed that it will not and that I should not worry because my jaw is put in place with titanium rods and that will not move. So I will not have TMJ jaw pain anymore. So I'm glad I got that cleared. He just said that the reason why my jaw still goes a little bit to the old way is because of muscle memory. And that's something he said I can work on over time um, just by paying attention to um, not letting my jaw move to the side. That's gonna be really hard, but I mean, I, I don't really care at this point. I'm just so happy that I can eat food without my jaw popping and locking and hurting and he said I can get Invisaligns or braces to fix it but I'm like no nah, I'm done I don't want to do anything else anymore like I'm so done anyways I am really thankful to this doctor and I'm just so happy that I have come this far you guys thank you for being here for me I just can't believe I'm finally done with this and I can eat chips now that is, yeah, that is pretty much all I really care about. I can eat crunchy chips. A whole family size bag of chips and not have jaw pain. That's literally, literally something I have not done in a long time. So I'm really happy. But anyways, you guys, this wraps up my jaw surgery experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram for sure. So if you have not followed me there, please follow me. Plug, plug, plug. I'm thinking of posting a Q&A video if I get enough questions from either YouTube or my Instagram. So let me know if that's something you guys want me to film. Let me know in the comments. I do want to share as much as I can with you guys, only if you guys are interested. So let me know. And yeah, I guess this wraps up my video. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!